sandwich. Welcome to Rapid Fire Reviews, the place where we look over selected pairs, having a look at their key features, price, and whether they're worth going for, or whether it's worth moving on to the next one. This is the review of one pair of the Off-White 50 in collaboration with Virgil Abloh and Nike, and I had no idea what I was getting. Now, let me elaborate a little bit more. This was a collaboration with Virgil Abloh and Nike once more, and this time it was on a 50 collaboration. The 50 were 50 pairs of dunks in very similar colorways, but different materials. Other than number one and number 50, as they were done in lot numbers, they were all very similar, but lot one and lot 50 were different. Lot one was a white and yellow colorway, and lot 50 was a black colorway. When they did the release, the release was done through Nike sneakers on an early access only method. So that wasn't guaranteeing any one pairs and was totally potluck. Because of this reason, I was totally unsure whether I was going to actually get a pair, but I was really lucky one Wednesday to see the early access appear. Now this shoe is definitely not going to be one that you can just go and pick up in the shops. So the reason for these reviews are to make you aware that one, if they are available in the shops, I'll let you know. If they're not, this might be the way to know whether it's worth paying that resale price if that's the only way you can get your hands on a pair. And here it is. This is the box that arrived in the post from Nike sneakers after getting my exclusive access. And this was regional, so there was only select lot numbers available in certain regions of the world. If your intention is to try and collect this, it's going to be immensely hard and immensely expensive. These arrived from sneakers. When I got my exclusive access, I literally just paid and prayed and that was it. This is the box that arrived. It's a very interesting one. It basically is what looks like a brown box with black duct tape all around the edges and these portholes with sort of translucent plastic kind of filling in those holes. You've got the off-white branding in green on the front of the box with this Nike swoosh which basically looks like it's been doodled on the front of the box, came in a UK nine and a half on the hope that it would be similar to all my Jordan sizes and my previous dunks that I've bought in the past. But because of the limited nature of this, I cannot tell you anything other than my own personal experience. These fit me perfectly fine. And my UK nine and a half is my standard Jordan one size and dunk size. The lid off the box is a top lid that does come off. It's not one of those ones that flips out. And we are greeted with some really vibrant orange tissue paper. This is what you get in the box. It's reminiscent of the tissue paper that I got in one of the pairs of the off-white running shoes, the Tierra Kaiga pair. And uh, this one has off-white 2021. Uh, with off with these kind of red circles on it and then off-white branding in black huge on the tissue paper if I was to lift it out uh, like what you get on the lid here so this is lot 23 of 50 and I was really hoping to get my hands on a pair of the suede ones the suede and leather ones those ones appealed a lot more to me I felt like in previous attempts to own and want to keep a pair of dunks in leather, unless they were extremely high grade, they just really go out of shape really quickly. And so as soon as I pick these out of the box, I sound really ungrateful, but I genuinely am not. Um, I wasn't ecstatic about getting a leather canvas pair because I just felt like one, the canvas is not going to be long lasting. In my opinion, it's not gonna be long lasting. And I wasn't sure whether the leather would be good quality. Now I am quite surprised. The leather is pretty decent compared to my previous uh, reviews of dunks in the past. Um, the leather on this is good. The stitching on this is okay. There's been some people talking questionably about quality control. This colorway at least isn't bland it's got uh, red blue on the tongue and then the uh that little plaque that i was talking to you about about what number it is on the side of the shoe you've got the uh, fa21 collection stamped in a sort of chrome silver paint and then we've got the off-white tag in a teal bluey green 
We've got the famous off-white zip tie on the shoe in a deep blue. It's almost a purpley blue and the tongue is matching with that color. Um, it's a really deep, deep blue, but the tongue's got these really strange holes punched out of it. It almost looks a bit like Swiss cheese uh, and very similar to the kind of accents on the box. Let's run through this shoe super fast to show you all the features. So starting with the upper, I've already explained, this is a canvas and leather version. So number 23 was canvas and leather, other versions being suede and leather. Um, the toe box area is canvas through this top bit with the aeration holes through there. Around the toe box is this gray leather and that runs up through the eye stays and round to the medial and lateral sides all the way up to the ankle region. We've got the Nike swoosh in that gray color as well that overlaps on the back, standard dunk looking. Then we move on to the heel area where we've got the Nike branding on the back of the heel and moving into the medial side, we've got the, what is now synonymous with off-white, the Beaverton Oregon branding on the inside with circa 1985. And this time it says Nike Dunk, but you can't see the word Dunk. It's hidden under the swoosh, which is a little bit weird. You kind of sort of think that, you know, after past versions like the 10 and other shoes that have had this printing, they normally just sort of stick it on top and it's almost like a stamp. Now this one is not quite like that. And it does overlap onto the canvas on the medial side as well. The one big thing about off-white dunks, and they've been previous versions of the off-white dunks in the past, are these strange holes that are dotted all the way around the shoe where this noodle-esque lace runs over the top of the traditional lacing system. So through these holes are these little loops and that loop allows you to attach this crazy lacing system to the shoe and so you've got a double lacing system there, but it is what it is. And the, the reality of it is taking it out actually looks worse with these holes. Like realistically, it's either keep them in for me or you buy a normal dunk. Moving on to the normal laces in the shoe, flat white laces with the off-white speech marks with shoelace on the ends and shoelace on the ends of the actual red laces too. And the end of those tips of those, the uh, ends uh, of those tips are sort of rubberized on the red bit. Going on to the inside of the shoe, the sock liner area on the inside of the shoe is a matching color to the midsole, which is like a sail cream colorway, really decent. The insole is a deep blue, matching the same as the tongue, which is deep blue, and the zip tie with the off-white branding on the inside there in black. And then you've got the sail midsole with that 23 of 50 in green and it's almost like a marbled green and yellow and going on to the undersole we've got a gray undersole that matches the same color as the leather on the top part of this shoe so this was a review very quickly of the off-white one pair lot 23 of 50 of the 50 and I want to know your feelings towards this. I'm running a comments competition and I'll be running it continuously for my reviews over the coming weeks and months. And I want to know what you think to this particular collaboration. Was it a success? Was it terrible? Did sneakers do you wrong? Did you get what you wanted? All that stuff. And you could be in with a chance to win this. Just to be clear, this product does not sponsor Tykix's channel. I've bought these specifically to give away to you guys for a thank you for watching. This is by a brand called Repellar. This is a waterproof stain protective product. It will help to keep your shoes as fresh as possible. And I want you guys to look after your shoes. Pretty much as simple as that. So if you do like the reviews and you enjoy what I do, please comment in the section down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Thai Kicks. That's super important as part of this competition. And you need to be following me on Instagram at ty underscore kix for a chance to be in to win one of these. And that's all you've got to do to be in with a chance. Just comment down below and do those things to be involved. I really hope you enjoyed this and if you do, I will see you again, hopefully for another review really soon.